hello and welcome today we are going to discuss uh, how to write the c program for the problem of counting the trailing zeros in the binary representation of a number to discuss this problem we are assuming that uh, we have a variable a whose value is 12 if we represent this a in binary then that can be represented as this 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. so this is the binary representation of number 12 now if you want to count the trailing zeros that means we want to count these zeros means the zeros from the right hand side a number of zeros from the right hand side of the binary representation of the number so for the problem that we are going to discuss we uh, we are taking a variable c to count the number of trailing zeros and initially its value is zero now to check this bit this binary bit whether it is zero or one we can do that by ending the binary representation of a with one so this is the binary representation of a that is 12 and this is the binary representation of 1. Now if you want to check this bit whether it is 0 or it is 1 we will add it with 1. If this bit is 0 then after the AND operation what you will get all the zeros. So here what we are doing we are ending the value of a with 1. So we are doing this with this code a ampersand 1. This ampersand is for the bitwise and operation and after performing the bitwise and if the result is all zeros that means this least significant bit is zeros. Now if we add this number this binary number with 1 after ending if the result is 1 that means the least significant bit is 1 so the result will be result of ending will be 1 if the least significant bit is 1 and the result of ending will be 0 if the least significant bit is 0 now let's discuss it step by step so the first in the first step we have this value of a that is 12 we'll add it with 1 right what will be the result this is the result this result the result of ending a with 1 we are assigning that result to b so this is the value of b if value of b is 0 that means the least significant bit of a is 0 so in that case we want to increment our counter value by 1 and we assume that the c is our counter so we will increment it by 1 so after the increment operation the value of c will change to 1 that I have represented over here in parenthesis so after doing up this operation now we want to check the second bit of this a now to check the second bit what I will do I will shift this number a to the right by one bit now if you shift it right this number right by one bit it will change to this number so this number if it is shifted to the right by one bit it will change to this and how we can do that how we can shift the number to the right by one bit for this you have to use this operation a shift right operator and then because we want to shift it to the right so the second operand of this shift right operator should be one so when you shift it right by one bit you will get this result now the the earlier second bit this bit is now at the least significant bit position now we want to check it whether it is 0 or 1 so 
again and the binary representation after shifting the number by one bit with one you land it by one with one so after the ending operation uh, we are again getting zero we are assigning the same result to b so now because the value of b is zero this indicates that the least significant bit is zero so again we will increment the value of c by one so this time the value of c will change to two again we will repeat the same step now we want to check the third bit of a this is the third bit so you will shift the a the present value of a this is the present value in the second iteration and shift it by one again if you shift it by one bit to the right this number will change to this number now our third bit of the actual number this is the third bit of the actual number is now at the least significant bit position now again if you want to check it whether it is one or not you have to add it with one so we are ending it again with one this time after the ending operation you will get the result this this is the binary equivalent of one we are assigning it to b so the value of b is one now if the value of b is one that means uh, the bit is zero and at this step we want to stop this iteration process so when the value of b becomes one we'll stop this process and that at that time the value of c will be the count that is the trailing number of zeros in the binary representation of the number now how we can code it let's discuss that so in this program we have used three variables a and uh, this a is basically used to uh, store the value of a whose uh, binary representation uh, in, in that you want to check the number of trailing zeros so again here i am assuming that uh, the value that you will enter through the keyboard is 12 and this is its binary representation so i have used over here a do while loop uh, as we have discussed many times any loop can be used but you have to do uh, something extra according to the loop you have used you have to make some changes in the program so after reading the value of a control will enter into in this do while loop and when the control will enter in the do while loop we are finding uh, a and one so this this will perform the bitwise and operation as we discussed earlier and whatever will be the result that will be assigned to the variable b and as we discussed earlier uh, if the value of b is zero that means the least significant bit of a is zero if the value of b is one that means the least significant bit of a is one so now we want to check uh, whether b is zero or one and if you want to check whether a variable value is zero or one as you know we have to use if statement so we are using a simple if statement over here if b is equal to 1 if this condition of value is to true we want to increment our counter variable c by 1 so this c plus plus will increment the value of c by 1 if the value of b is 0 so after doing this uh, we want to check the next bit of uh, a so to check the next bit of a you have to shift the binary representation of a by one bit so you uh, you have to for that you have to do uh, this operation you have to perform this operation a shift it right by one bit and you will assign the resultant value to a and as we have discussed earlier when we shift a number to the right by one bit its value reduces to half so if uh, the earlier value of a is 12 if you shift it right to the uh, 
to the right by one bit it, its value will ch change to 6 and if you shift it again by one bit its value will change to 3 and in the next iteration it will change to 1 and so on. So this process we want to repeat it as long as the value of b is 0. Right? So in the while condition we are testing if b is 0 this uh, process should keep on repeating right and when the value of b becomes 1 that means the first one has encountered as we move from right to left in that uh, at that step we want to uh, stop this process so, uh, so as soon as the value of b becomes 1 this condition will have values to false and the control will come out of this loop and then the then your then your computer will execute this statement uh, that is it will print the value of c and as we discussed earlier in c uh, will have count the uh, count of number of trailing zero so you will get the output so if you run this program and give 12 as the value of a in that case you are going to get 2 as the result because we have two trailing zeros and if you test this program with value 32 so this is the binary representation of 32 as as you can see in case of 32 the trailing number of bits are 5 so if you run this program with input 32 you are going to get 5 as the result i hope you you get this program right and in case of any doubt you can leave your doubt in the comment section thank you